got his first dog, which was a smooth fox terrier. He had a very enjoyable time with this breed. And later on, he of course had got a fantastic fox terrier from Australia. And it is at this point that I would like to tell you something that when Dr. Koshi Ghosh was trying to negotiate for a fox terrier from uh, some, one of the famous fox terrier breeders in the world, uh, Mrs. Robin Price. Uh, Robin's uh, interest in fox terriers goes back to his parents. His late father, uh, Kevin Price, uh, started the Isrip uh, uh, sort of uh, prefix and uh, uh, he had the famous Green Park lines uh, of Cam Millward. And uh, uh, I remember having judged uh, a very famous dog uh, called um, uh, Green Park Keepers way back in the Melbourne Royal in 1989. Well, uh, when Dr. Koshik Ghosh uh, uh, sort of was negotiating with Robin, I never knew who Dr. Koshik Ghosh was. Then I get an email from Robin that uh, could I confirm that whether Koshik Ghosh would make a good owner for his fox terrier because he was wanting to buy one from her. Uh, it's that time that I got interested in Dr. Koshi Ghosh and I made some primary inquiries and I did uh, get a good feedback that he was a great dog lover and I immediately wrote back to uh, Robin that uh, well uh, he is a dog lover and so you can very well uh, uh, give him whatever he wants. And so that is how he got his fantastic fox terrier uh, from Australia, uh, from this famous breeder, Robin. And then, um, of course, this dog immediately became Indian Grand Champion in no time. Uh, uh, in his, from his uh, childhood, he was attracted to dog shows also, Dr. Kaushik. And uh, he uh, used to visit the Calcutta Kennel Club shows uh, routinely in those years. Dobermans uh, he had in his student life, uh, of course, uh, not show qualities, but pet quality. Uh, but the, the breed that most attracted him was the German Shepherds. And uh, when he returned to Calcutta after finishing his higher studies in human medicine, he imported a few really outstanding German Shepherds. And his top uh, alliance like his uh, top winning dogs were SG21, Utsi Fonder Balanskuk, uh, SG18, then Iron Del Seprio, Brianna von Horst Before, Lexus Du Val de Anzen, and so on and so forth. Uh, his uh, famous uh, German Shepherd bitch Angelina, uh, of course, is known to everyone. She won the uh, Best German Shepherd of the year 19, uh, 20, uh, 2018 and 2019. Uh, his dogs have won many best in shows and uh, uh, sort of, uh, uh, and VI and SGY, SG1 under very renowned international all breed and SB judges. He, is, uh, he has a special appeal for all dog lovers, uh, which is that, you know. Uh, people in this dog world, when they go into dog shows, they buy a lot of dogs. Uh, they keep buying and they want to win and win. But then they must always keep in mind that these dogs which are giving them so much of entertainment, so much of honor, so much of glory. These dogs will soon become old and they will uh, not be uh, sort of fit enough to go to dog shows anymore. So it is that time that they require very special care because they're aging and, uh, and they have uh, no other utility because they have been used as show dogs for your entertainment. So it is that time that they require very special care and he appeals that everyone should take good care of their older dogs. Uh, of course, I will add at this stage that uh, uh, in India, Dog uh, uh, sort of uh, dogs is a uh, uh, commercial product is a cash crop. People believe that they can make a lot of money uh, by uh, sort of uh, breeding dogs because they see all this uh, uh, you know the money f uh, sort of uh, flying all around in dog shows with all these great dogs coming in. 
because the first thing that they realize they must they must be thinking that uh, all these dogs that are uh, coming in of course the owners must be making a lot of money otherwise why would they invest on very expensive dogs so but that is not really so in most cases most cases people like dr koshi ghosh and many other uh, fanciers uh, they actually uh, it is for their uh, passion and hobby that they spend their money there they spend their hard earned money they work hard uh, it is you know dr koshi ghosh who is a um, uh, very busy uh, doctor he is a critical care doctor is a, uh, a, a sort of uh, uh, um, he is a in uh, intensive vist and he works uh, in hospitals where a lot of serious patients are all the time uh, who are requiring his uh, help and uh, uh, so attention but his uh, stress busters are these dogs so once he gets the time and on weekends when he is off working he goes to dog shows with his dog so he spends his uh, uh, sort of money to uh, buy his dog which is that is no commercial return he doesn't consider dogs to be a uh, uh, sort of uh, cash crop and he's he does not sell them for money so there are a lot of people in this country still who actually pursue this uh, sport and they spend their money uh, for, uh, which is uh, they don't expect anything in return so it is very it will be very wrong and it will be a very um, uh, misconstrued that if you if you if people feel that it is they are going to, they are actually receiving a lot of commercial gain from that so uh, the so the present trend in the, you know there the lot of puppy farms that have coming which is very unfortunate around the country and uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, people here who go to buy dogs they know they know that there this is a commercial um, um, in, uh, enterprise and people are breeding commercially so whoever is breeding uh, of course if there are 90 if there are 98 95 or 98% of people who are breeding on commercial people naturally the 2 3% that are actually a uh, hobby breeders they also are put in the same category they are also dealt with in the, in the with the same way so it's breeders like us who used to breed in the earlier days when breeding was fun and uh, people uh, uh, sort of approached us uh, you know they uh, they were uh, genuinely dog lovers and they would uh, sort of wait for a good puppy and uh, we would sort of build up a relationship with the our prospective uh, buyer or say uh, he would become a friend by the time we gave him or her a puppy from our kennels but those days are of course gone now whatever you offer it is they feel it's a commercial um uh, thing they will bargain hard and they will buy a dog they will want to buy a dog uh, at the cheapest possible price uh, you know that is how things are so uh, in the bargain uh, in order to uh, sort of sustain people in uh, people who are actually having uh, dogs as poultry like poultry farming and they are having large kennels in this country which is as i have mentioned earlier is in indeed extremely unfortunate that those breeders uh, who finally will have these dogs which will stop producing they will have no commercial value left but they will have 50% or more of their life to spend uh, you know doing nothing just eating in the kennel which will be uh, sort of uh, um, uh, robbing the uh, uh, enter the entrepreneur the person who's actually in this dog business a lot of money because for 5 or 6 years he's going to feed this dogs or more uh, that he's going to feed this dogs without getting any return from them so uh, i would suggest it's very cruel i would suggest that administration also to sort of uh, spread awareness all clubs who are involved in uh, uh, propagating dogs uh, they they should have uh, um, uh, this in as their priority and they should uh, through their members through the whoever comes in contact with these organizations who uh, consider themselves as dog lovers and they are serving the dog fraternity as dog clubs that they should um, uh, sort of enlighten people that dogs are going to get old old and you go have to look after them which is so so please think before you go into this um, uh, jump into this business 
of uh, uh, breeding dogs as a commercial venture. So uh, we thought with these words and uh, you will see I have um, uh, uh, the videos and whatever you see the dogs that are running and winning all this uh, is owned by uh, our uh, Kaushi Ghosh who is uh, um, uh, being uh, uh, introduced to you uh, to my uh, YouTube channel Animals and Pets with Partho. I am thankful to him for for giving me all this material to be reproduced in my channel and um, um, I would uh, tell you that if you are looking for a German Shepherd he, he will do uh, good to contact uh, Dr. Kaushik Ghosh and he might have a piece of advice for you. So uh, with these words I will not drag my um, uh, episode any further uh, any longer. Uh, uh, well, uh, please do subscribe to my channel and the next video again I will have somebody uh, else, another connoisseur, an expert of some other breed definitely which will be of interest to everyone and uh, uh, please uh, uh, click on the bell button so that you are intimated for my next videos and of course like and share. Thank you and bye bye.